oh i am vlogging on the stairs the last time i spoke to you was friday and now it's sunday so i still haven't had the pcr result i am awaiting it i didn't feel too bad yesterday in fact i was almost normal i would say i was at grot level oh i don't know 10 percent or something really i was functioning just fine so i just spent all day editing basically what's my hair doing oh, i haven't brushed it or anything today i'm still in my pajamas at half past 12 because i'm quarantining so why get dressed i don't know what i'm doing today if i get a a dinging message in now saying I'm negative. Theoretically, I'm going down to Cardiff by train, going to my dad's place, injecting Isabel, <laughs> and then going on to a music session with my dad, and then meeting my boyfriend at the session, and then going to his place to work a full day of work tomorrow at the office again. Uh, but I don't know if I am or not because I still haven't had the ding. And if I haven't got the ding, I'm just gonna have to stay here until I get the ding. <laughs> I don't know it's just I'm in a bit of a hiatus I suppose I should just uh probably have some breakfast and get dressed you know I forgot to have breakfast I was just sitting editing tomorrow's vlog which I finished already because I've you know been home so I thought I might as well just crack on with that it's quite easy to do if you're not feeling that energetic anyway right I'm gonna have some breakfast now and get dressed and washed and all that uh, yeah, needless to say, I'm on the corn cakes, butter and marmite again, my favourite breakfast. It's nearly five to two in the afternoon. I've been dithering around a bit. I've come on with a bit of a bad tummy between you and me. Anyway, I had a nice long chat to my dad and daughter on the phone, on the speaker, you know, sort of like three-way chat. Still don't know what I'm doing because I still haven't heard from the NHS, so I don't know if I'm going out today or not. I've kind of got a cut-off time of sort of around the six o'clock mark because just because my train's very infrequent on a Sunday. So if I don't hear by a certain time, the whole thing's ruined and I have to reconfigure the week. Um, uh, what else? I put a wash on, a light load. I put my clean washing away and folded the thing up. I need to hoover this floor. Look how many bits there are, look, bits everywhere. That's that Isabel, that is. She leaves bits everywhere, I don't know how she does it. So I would say those bits were me, definitely, because they are composed of corn cake. I've also been noticing a lot of dust today, just everywhere, skirting boards, tops of shelves, just everywhere. So I think I might go around with a damp cloth and sort that out. I've also been having a nice long chat to my boyfriend on the phone and uh, yeah, getting dressed and washed. I don't know what my hair's doing today. Like I have brushed it now. Oh, oh dear. I'm not feeling the best. I mean, I'm okay. Can't really moan. But every so often, I'm just like, Whoa. I'm having one of those now. But I think I'm going to press on, do some housework. Starting with these bits. Oh look, I bought myself a lovely new brush the other day <laughs> from Wilco. Super industrial sized dish brush yeah this is about the height of my news today i'm actually doing this thing i noticed it was getting a bit grotty look it's like a little snake sneaking i did the rest with the brush but of course now i've got such a massive one it wouldn't fit so that was a bit of an own goal wasn't it I always feel like everybody else does this sort of thing more than I do. <laughs> and I think I'm, I might be right. <laughs> you know, sometimes sometimes you get insecure about stuff. And, oh, everybody else's house is clearly the vine. Um, but I suspect I am actually right on this occasion. So I get carried away with my little projects, my music stuff and my editing and everything else just goes by the wayside, if I'm honest. Oh, it's clean enough. It'll do. It's good enough for me. Oh dear, this windowsill. Oh, the shame. I haven't uh, lifted the blind up from the bottom for a while and I found this rather lot of dirt off the potted plants there. <laughs> That's got a bit grubby there as well. What I want to know is why are these here and why have these probably been here for months? <laughs> like, they just need to be separated out and put in the recycling. What is this that I've apparently been treasuring? I don't even know what that is. Oh, I hate the things that you don't know what they are because they might be really important. <laughs> Any clues? What is this? And why on earth have I kept it? 
Hair bubble, obviously. You've got to keep a hair bubble gathering dust on your windowsill. Oh, look, the elastic's gone in that. That just goes to show how long that's been there, doesn't it? Yeah, we can pop that in the bin. I have noticed that clutter, if it's been somewhere long enough, it develops a cloak of invisibility and I don't see it. And I noticed this phenomenon, particularly when I was moving house, I would literally declutter an area, you know, to pack away in a box or throw away what I didn't want to keep. And I think I've cleared that area of the kitchen worktop or whatever it was, corner of the bedroom, whatever. And then I would come back into the room again and lo and behold, there was lots of clutter there still that I hadn't put away in the box or the bin, but because I was so used to seeing it, I didn't see it was there before the first time. So weird. And that happened so many times to me when I was moving house. Really weird. It's a nice noise that they're going in the recycling. I can now access the horror that is this bit of the windowsill that needs a jolly good clean. I'm getting serious now. The SIF clean has come out. I tell you what though, I still think of it as GIF. I'm showing me age. I've got a birthday coming up. I'm gonna be 47. How am I gonna be 47? Oh, I can't believe I've managed to, I don't know, last this long, to be honest. I feel very grateful that I have. I feel very grateful to be in relatively good health as well. Oh, it's dribbling. And that, while far from perfect, is a very big improvement. I don't mind about the silicon seal being stained. As long as it doesn't pose a hazard to health, I'm fine with it. I'm on a roll. I'm gonna wipe down my blinds while I'm at it. Probably this isn't the best thing for cleaning those sorts of wooden blinds. Probably I should be using I don't know, wax and polish and stuff, but I'm just not that precious about it, to be honest, and they're already wrecked. Well, I got quite carried away, did all my work surfaces, cleaned the stove to a point. Ugh, there's more dirt appeared. <laughs> I have served myself up some of this. I've microwaved it. It's stew left over from yesterday that I cooked a huge pan of, so I didn't have to cook meals for about three meals. I did put the hoover around the floor as well and in there a bit. Um, it does need a mop really. Well it's just coming up to about half past six now. I, I really, I just, I know I've said it about the hair but what is going on? I look like a tufty owl or something. I'm feeling ropey again. I've actually been trying to sleep. But Izzy rang, I hope yeah, but it's okay because it's nice to speak to her. Her and my dad are trying to make, they're trying to recreate a recipe that Izzy really likes. When she was little, like, she's been on a really restricted diet because of her allergies. But one thing I found for her that she could eat was this kind of jellyfied, dried, sweetened sweet potato from Chinese supermarkets. And the ingredients is just sugar and sweet potato. Well, she's got a hankering for it. So she and my dad have been trying to analyse it and guess how to make it. But I, I think they're going to make something really delicious that doesn't bear any resemblance, but anyway, it's great that they're experimenting together, having a bit of a hoot in his kitchen. They're boiling up sweet potato in a very, very syrupy sugar solution. They've worked out the ratio of sugar to sweet potato, and then they're going to put it in the oven when it's soft <laughs> and roast it. Oh dear. Anyway, I'm missing the session. I didn't get the ping, or not the ping, the ding, the text. I haven't had it yet. I'm feeling ropey as well, so I've decided, right, well, I can't go unless I've had confirmation that I'm negative anyway, but even if I was negative, well, I've got something and I don't feel well, so I'm not going. <laughs> but if I'm feeling better tomorrow, I might get up early and get the train to my boyfriend's and do that day of work. Right now, I've just, I've eaten more stew in bed whilst watching a YouTube video. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna have an easy evening. I'm gonna read my book, which is that Portugal one by there, which I'm slowly working my way through. And I might do some Portuguese study if I perk up a bit, because I have been letting that fall by the wayside, but I did do a bit yesterday. I've been reading for quite a while, I don't know. Oh, yeah, getting on for an hour actually, very slowly. I haven't made much progress, but I remembered the Christmas chocolates. Not a lot left. I am feeling a bit perkier, so probably in a bit, half an hour or so, I'm going to go and sit over there and do some Portuguese study. But I still haven't heard anything about my test results, so I'm going to stop holding out for the end of the vlog. I'll just have to put it in the next one. Thank you so much for watching this one. Could you please give it a like if you liked it, because it really helps the channel to grow. I really appreciate that. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story here in South Wales, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!